Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Sunday. Sunday afternoon. I've been out here earlier, but I had on that. Sitting on this here. Heat that up. I'll bring you back when I get it hot enough. Start heating, heating on it, and uh, I'll also bring you back. This is my new forge. I'm gonna cut this up too. Cut the top off of it. Cut it this way. Put a hole, and I'll probably just take that out. Put the pipe down through there. This will be the front, this will be the back. Drop some, some of these bricks here. I know they're not the right bricks, but they are fire brick for the fireplace. It's only running charcoal. Anyway, line the sides with that, have the pipe run through the middle, airflow, open top, nice little forge for my small pieces. Kind of like what I was talking about doing with my big propane tank over there. So, okay. Ah, so, I think I'm going to cut these here. Reach in there and cut that. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to have to be. Forge came pre assembled with two. Just got to relocate them. So I'll go ahead and cut this one off here and set it over there with the other foot. This is the boring part of forge making. So I'm going to end this and draw my lines. Get this cut off. Draw my lines. I'll bring you back on this some more. Still gotta go grab a sharpie real quick and draw my lines out. Oh, they're over there. One of these will work. Hopefully. They're not sitting in the water. Oh, yeah. Oh, at least that part was. Let's see. Is it right? Hey, it right. We're good to go. Draw the lines, start cutting this out. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Alrighty, guys. So, so uh, new forge project here. Um, Cut out. So this is going to be my new forge. I'm not worried about that. I need to tap that. Then I'll go. Kind of dent the end. Dent at the end. In. Not a big deal. This is back. But nobody going to see that anyway. Dang, too bad I didn't make those level. Oh well. Got two bumps, the little feet. Right there and right there. Get out like that. We look over. Anyway, so now what I gotta do is put a hole here. That is this size. That's gonna be fun. Then I need to measure, mark, figure out how long through here this is going to be. Like that. Except it's going to be in that one. You know, it's going to be about like that. So from about here up, drill a series of holes. So I slide it in there. I can put the cap on the one end. Just like that. This will be sticking out the back of it. Airflow coming in, right there. Like I was saying, you can take some of these bricks here, have the bar come in. Yeesh. That's not going to work. Take a gander. Right here is where my bar is going to be. Right here. 
guess we're going to have to cut them in small pieces. Put them in there like that. Run the bar in there and put them in there like that against the bar for the air hole. Alright, cut. Or, the other option, get the bar in there, pack it up with some dirt and clay, something like that. I want an angled side going down to the twir. So, now, I'm going to take up my shoppy. Figure out about where I want that to go through. This is going to be a fun one because all I have for cutting, I don't have a drill that big. So, back to the angle grinder. Fingers way up out of the way. Series of slices. There we go. That's the angle I was looking for. All right, and tap it in. And that like that. That like that. Good. this and I have a silver sharpie over here. So be careful. There you go. Say there you go. Thank you. So right about there. So made a mark right up here. So I now know that between here and here, about every inch or so, drill a hole. slide the rest of the way through and then I'll slide it back to the other way. Alright, so I'll come back in a little bit. I'll show you the progress I've made on this a little more. Hey everybody, it's Joe uh, from Soggy Bottom Forge. Working on the propane forge, or er, sorry, charcoal forge. So today, I'm just going to weld these on here. Front and rear. Have the legs 
and then I'm going to weld the pipe in to the front inside but right now I need to clean up where these are going to weld tack it together, weld it up, make sure it's all tack it together, make sure it's level and right and straight and how I want it weld it up so that's what I'm working on right now and I will uh, be back in just a minute okay guys I got that ground up here back there I got the ends of these cleaned up one there one there tack them on and uh, let's see if I can find some place to set this up where you can actually see me alright guys getting ready to weld this up That on, that's fine. Huh. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Let me get this straight. I want them actually in like that. Two bolts, what do you expect, right? See if it... There we go. I'm see if I can figure out how to fast do a fast forward on this, you know, so you can not have to watch me fiddle with everything so long. Try to get this through quicker. All right, and number two. There's that part. Now, put this bad boy over and probably gonna need that glove. Too. This. I guess I'll be doing some tweaking on that. Okay. Soggy bottom forage, everything gets wet. Cut this open on, uh, I guess it's been actually about two weeks now. Today's Friday. I didn't make it out here last weekend, so yeah. This is accumulated water. It rains here. A lot. So this is what I'm trying to do here. Let me, uh, okay. So you see, I got my air, air pipe in here. The holes in it. It's gonna tack weld it up here, so it stays there. And then I'm gonna pack it with dirt, and 
stream hopefully Sunday in two days because I got work tomorrow. Hopefully Sunday I'll be able to fire this thing up and see how she works. We'll see. All right, so I'm gonna weld this up real quick. Alrighty guys. So I'm not too worried about appearances. It's going to be on the inside of the forge, but I'm fixing to show you guys. So at least one feels a little decent. Alrighty. Ouch. Whew. Put my hat on right. There we go. Alrighty, guys. So. Spin around. There we are. We have. There's the weld there. I had to build it up quite a bit because it's such a, so much of a curve out here. I still need to work on these feet, obviously. But you know what? I think what's going to happen is. Uh, This stand right here, I believe, when it's all said and done, I might tack it to that. I mean, almost looks like I measured and marked it, doesn't it? But I didn't. Got lucky that time. Alrighty, so. That's it for this part. Oh, nah, I got one more thing to do. Right, let me put this back up. Boy. Although I will miss my uh, impromptu camera stand. So, I obviously don't need this much twist out the back of it. Let me chop it off right there. Should give me enough, I can slide on a hose. Put my air to it. We'll find out. Here we go, guys. One mini forge. All I'm going to do is just pack in the dirt underneath, up the sides, side. That way, I can throw my charcoal down in the middle. Fire going, you can set wood up on top, and as it burns, it'll drop down towards the middle. There we go. This will be my my small project forge. And hmm, nope, too short for the big forge. Guess I'll have to buy more pipe. Didn't buy this one though. Came from work again. And. So I'll be able to cap too. Alright, so that's the end of today's video. That's all I got going today, so. I'll bring it out back here. I just wanted it held up in there. And once I get it adjusted, get the dirt in there and get everything lined up, try it out. I can still actually twist if the air if the air holes don't line up right where I want them. I can twist them. Let's see if you can see this. Well, twist. There they go. I did have it pretty tight, and so anyway, that's what I got for today. I'm gonna go ahead and. Do some editing. Get All right, one. got this done. See you in a few days. Hope to come out here Sunday. All right. All right, guys. So I know I already tried to end this 
once, twice, I don't know how many times. Anyway, so I went ahead and packed it. We now have slanted sides packed in. I'll let it sit for a couple days because I know it's going to rain the next couple days. Which will get this nice and moist. And I'll come back out here and pack it on Sunday. And, uh, and we'll get a fire going. Alright. That's it for today. I am done this time. Uh, see you on Sunday. I'm out. Like, comment. See ya.